Hello guys and welcome back. Hope you guys had a great weekend. In this video, I want to go in depth uh, in the market on the stocks to watch for this week. We got a bunch of plays this week. We got a very nice long term share play that I want to talk about. Uh, which is Papa John's, and then we got some very nice option plays. I definitely want to go into a very nice play this week uh, in the Discord, and this is the number play, the number one play that I am watching for this week. So we got a bunch of setup, and the market is looking very, very nice, and we have a lot to go over into this video. So definitely a lot of opportunities. The past two weeks, I have really been out of the market, and we are finally, finally back. Okay, so let's get started in this video. The first thing that I want to take a look at um, is the earnings calendar or just any news uh, that we can potentially have this week. So with the economic calendar, we don't have much going on this week which is pretty good we got inflation numbers next week but pretty much this week um, is looking pretty decent no catalyst for the economic calendar for earnings we still have some last remaining earnings but pretty much the major tech companies like apple microsoft google all of them have reported um this week we do have uber reporting you know uh, fubo caterpillar uh, we got Rivian, uh, Airbnb, Reddit, Shopify, Robinhood, CVS, Lyft, Sony. So these smaller companies, but most of the blue chip companies have already reported. So we are looking good in terms of trading in the market right now. Now, let's take a look at SPY right here. Before we want to get into SPY, just keep in mind that right now futures are down 1%. Okay, so if futures do keep this up overnight, we're pretty much going to gap down for the overall market. So just keep in mind of that the futures are down. We can definitely bounce uh, on the future, but as you're charting and as you're doing your analysis over the weekend on Sunday, um, just you know, remind of that. So we're taking a look at SPY here. And it's looking very, very good. I have a lot to talk about with SPY, many scenarios. But the first thing that I want to take a look at is the RSI. So the RSI is almost hitting that oversold level. Okay, So right now we are at a pretty nice level um, for the RSI. So if you want to buy in long term position for SPY, you know, buy the dip. It's a pretty good time right now. The perfect buy would be when the RSI is right over bot. So like you know, somewhere right around over here when the RSI hits that level. Now, since futures are down, you know, one percent, we can expect a gap down, you know, at open. So around like one percent drop right here, and then RSI can definitely come back down. So I'm taking a look at spy right here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this. And I'm going to copy this so I have a better, better line. But as you guys can see over here, you know, this is our level of support we are in at right now, which is 531. And then the support down below is 524. So I think 524 is going to be the perfect bottom for SPY because it is the previous low. So we had the correction here, and this is the previous high right here so this is going to be a level of support so i think 524 is going to be a great level of support and tomorrow if we do see that gap down i think that is going to be the bottom 524 for spy just taking a look at the chart it does look very nice as you can see spy you know respects it levels very very nicely so I'm expecting at least some sort of a bounce and I'm definitely watching calls right at 524. So for the bottom and I think the bottom is going to be at around $524, okay, which is going to be around a 7-8% pullback from the highs, Okay, which is typically the, the, the usual pullback. So 524 for calls and by the time we hit that level of support, I think RSI is gonna drop to the 30 level and that is going to be the perfect, perfect setup. If SPY hits 524 and the RSI is at, at that oversold level, it's just gonna be a perfect, perfect setup. The next thing that I wanna take a look at is just the 100 EMA. The 100 EMA is a very nice indicator to take a look at corrections. So this is a bigger cor uh, correction here. Obviously, this is 
the whole bear market that we had previously. But if we take a look at previous bull market like in 2021, we could see that the 100 EMA was a very nice indicator to call off the bottom. So I'm taking a look at here and the 100 EMA is looking very nice as we are in, are in this uh, bull trend to the upside. So the 100 EMA is looking very nice. But 524 is what I am taking a look at for SPY. That is where I want to buy and calls potentially play the bounce in for SPY. And especially since we have elections and then Christmas is going to be, you know, very, very bullish. Let's see what happens uh, then. Next, we got QQQ. QQQ, very, very similar. The RSI looks even better. We had a bunch of tech stocks pulling back. Tesla, NVIDIA, Apple, you know, healthy, healthy pullbacks. We finally got the pullback that we have been waiting for. Okay, Meta, we had some, you know, earnings report. But we're taking a look at QQQ right now. QQQ looks a little bit better, but we are at same level of support. The RSI is overbought. And pretty much the same thing. We're going to gap down uh, tomorrow. And then we can hit this level of support and then hopefully we can you know close above we just need to close above for both spy and qqq above 524 for spy and we are looking good so taking a look at the chart this might be the bottom the rsi and the support is calling a bottom so that is what we are taking a look at the first play that I am looking at for this week is going to be PZZA. This is going to be a very nice shares play. Okay, This is going to be a long-term shares play, not options. Okay, This is not a options play, long-term shares play. And we're taking a look at a very, very nice chart. This reminds me a lot of like our previous plays on like Disney. So Disney is a very nice long-term stock that we are in, you know, setting at 2014 levels. We have setups like Pfizer also, which is starting to bounce in, but pretty much buying low. These plays are for long-term individuals. You want to buy in, hold it for a year, take that capital gains tax and sell it in a year and have like you know a very nice 25 30 40 you know conservative price target for all of these types of play um you know with disney we already hit like a 40 percent gain um you know if you bought in here before the pump now we are back at the level of support but you have to be very patient for plays like these because these are equity plays you're playing the bounce off the level of support so we're taking a look at pzaa and we can see that it is a level of support it is a decade long support okay since 2014 2013 very very similar you know we're talking about a conservative you know 40 percent gain just like a small move um you know very similar to our play on like macy something like macy where we're buying in at the complete complete bottom complete low so pz PZZA is what we are taking a look at. Papa John's right here, 2014 level. If we take a look at the weekly time frame, we are sitting right at the level of support. And it just looks good. You buy in at the level of support and then you sell it above. Then you can have the stop loss close below. As long as if it holds $40, it is bullish. So this is what we are taking a look at for PZ, PZZA. A, okay, a long term position. The first play for this week that we have is Coinbase. Okay, Coinbase looks absolutely amazing. I want to play call options on the Discord down here. Okay, so we have a lot going on with Coinbase. The first thing that I want to just take a look at is I want to take a look at the bigger time frame. We could see that these channels are, are very usual for Coinbase where we have these consolidation patterns. We had a downtrend breakout, downtrend breakout, and now we are in this very nice channel. And the basic idea is we buy low and we sell high. We play the bounce. We have the stop loss close below. So we are looking good for Coinbase. We had a previous play on Coinbase, which was around a 200% gain where we played the bounce at you know 200 but i want to play in calls at 200 since the market uh is gapping down and bitcoin is dropped over the weekend also coinbase is also going to drop and i want to play a weekly call option right at the level of support i think this is going to be my number one play 
for this week. I'm going to make uh, another video tomorrow on Coinbase talking about the exact contract, but I want to play this week call, uh, 200 call, and just play one green day. You know, we could see that we dropped a lot for both Bitcoin and for both coins. So this is going to be a very, very nice play. 10% move on stock is going to be, you know, a very nice play on the options. The options are a little bit wacky with Theta IV. They're also a little bit expensive, but that is why I'm just going to make a whole video tomorrow uh, on Monday. I'm going to be entering in most likely tomorrow for Coinbase. Tomorrow before market close. Okay, so around tomorrow before market closes, like 30 minutes before market close. I'm going to enter into Coinbase right at 200. 200 is my target. 200 to, you know, 197 would be the perfect, perfect level. So Coinbase is at, so if we can get an entry at 194, that would be a perfect, perfect entry for Coinbase weekly call options. I'll keep you guys uh, updated on the Discord. If you have not already, make sure to join the Discord. But I'll keep you guys updated on the Discord um, for Coinbase, my number one play for this week. So next we got Bitcoin. Now, I have to keep reminding you guys that the Porsche 911s, the Lamborghini Huracans, the G-Wagons, how I'm going to buy all of those are with Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin is my biggest, biggest, biggest position. My price target for Bitcoin, you know, from 10 years is $700,000. And that is how I'm going to afford my house in Beverly Hills and my cars and, you know, all of that. So I have to keep, uh, keep you guys reminded on, on that because options are a very small portion. I only enter in around $500 to $1,000 into each option play. And it's like a probability game. And with Bitcoin, I take all of my option profits, my share profits, and just pour it into Bitcoin. I bought Bitcoin a while ago. In the Discord, I'm very open. I show all, all, everything, you know, uh, my whole, whole portfolio, my long-term long position with Bitcoin. But I just have to keep you guys reminded on here because if your account is around, uh, if you have a $20,000 account, you know, put like 15,000, like 90% of that into Bitcoin and then only play with like 5,000, you know, 3,000. So I just have to really emphasize on that because 10 years later, because this channel right now is nothing, 10 years later, when we make our millions and hundreds of millions, we're going to be looking back into the older videos and it, it'll be Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin is how we made our video, uh, how we made our money. So, if you have not already, this is a perfect, perfect opportunity to buy more Bitcoin. We have Christmas coming up. We have elections coming up. Typically for the market, you know, Bitcoin uh, Christmas is very, very bullish. If we take a look at the weekly time frame, we have a massive cup of handle that looks very similar to the gold setup. Gold is already moving up. It's making new, you know, record highs. But Bitcoin has really not uh, been moving much. It's been at the same position um, for a couple of years now since 2021. So it is at a very nice level. And it'll, it'll be a matter of time before we break out of this cup and handle. So again, Bitcoin is my biggest, biggest position. With Bitcoin, we also got a play on Riot. So Riot has this very nice descending triangle and a very simple play on shares just shares that is all you know you can get insane insane gear uh, gains on riot if you just play riot shares which is absolutely insane so playing the quick bounce i want to buy in some more riot shares it is only eight dollars so this is a perfect opportunity to buy in some more riot shares especially since bitcoin is sitting at support and coinbase is also sitting at uh support we just need to hold these uh levels next we got target Target looks very nice. We have this consolidation pattern similar to the play on Coinbase, but it's not just this consolidation pattern. If we zoom out, we can extend this here and then we can go to the weekly time frame and we could see that this is a very nice level of support. So as long as if we hold this level of support, we are looking good. Now, okay, we also have a inverse shoulder head 
and then we are potentially forming a right shoulder if we bounce off this level of support. So target is looking incredible right here. Four options. Um, I want to play, I'm thinking of playing a week, two weeks. I think two weeks is nice. Just play a quick bounce off the level of support. We had two massive, you know, red candles. Like these are the biggest red candles that I have seen on target. It dropped around 5% that day. So just play a quick bounce, have the stop loss close below, but target is looking good. Next, we got BA, also a very, very similar position right here. We have a basic consolidation pattern. You know, it dropped 4%, then it dropped uh, 6%. Um, it wasn't because of the earnings. The earnings were right over here. So it dropped 6% and then it dropped uh, 4%. So it, it's around a 10% drop with both of these two candles. So just play a quick bounce two weeks out. It does look very, very nice. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got many, many plays for this week, but my number one play is going to be Coinbase uh, for options. Overall, hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe with notifications on. Make sure to leave a like. I am dropping the newsletter tonight. But other than that, see you guys in the Discord at tomorrow.